Hi, this is Jeff Grover from BayesTheorem-QED.com. What I got here for you today is a Bayesian Belief Network. Uh, it has uh, two parents, it has a child, and then from the child it has a descending node. And what I'm going to do is do a proof. And I'm going to start generic here. Node A and node B, uh, they're independent of node C. And the descending child is node D. So this is how I'll annotate this. What I want to uh, determine is a probability of C given D. And I'll do this without a numerical presentation so I can just do the proof first. So let's see. So we'll start with probability of C D equals probability of D C. C D and D C. So using the chain rule probability of C D equals probability of C given D times the probability of D. And probability of D C is probability of D given C times the probability of C. Okay, we're solving for the probability of C D, so probability of C given D equals probability of D given C times the probability of C divided by probability of D. To further break this down, we need to solve for a probability of C and a probability of D. So probability of C is going to be the probability of C A B plus probability of C B hat A plus probability of C B A hat plus probability of C B hat A hat. We'll break this down and we'll go probability of C A B is probability of C given A B times the probability of A B plus probability of C given B hat A times probability of B hat A plus probability of C given B A hat times probability of B A hat plus probability of C given B hat A hat times probability of B hat Then we'll do the probability of D, and by the, using the total lower probability, and the probability of D, and using the total law of probability equals probability of D C plus probability of D C hat. Break this down. Uh, probability of DC is probability of D given C times the probability of C plus the probability of D given C hat times the probability of C hat. So then we'll solve for the probability of D given C, which is going to be the probability of C given D probability of D divided by probability of C. Okay, so now we, we've uh, determined how to solve the probability of C given D. So we need to next do a numerical presentation of that uh, for the solution. So the probability of C given D is probability of D given C times probability of C divided by the probability of D. And this is part one. And 
I'll come back to you with part two.